This video is going to focus on how to build a challenging crossbones scenario deck. This crossbones configuration is very challenging. It's also very thematic. The focus of this deck is to incorporate in large minions uh, into the scope of the deck. What's great about the crossbones scenario is that you have to use the experimental weapons cards, but in addition to that, it allows you to add three modular encounter sets. So what the focus of this deck is gonna be is bringing in big minions. So think of it as a brawl between the Marvel heroes and big minions, it's very thematic. So instead of fighting just these sort of smaller minions, you get into these big epic battles where the villain is in play and then also several large minions. I'll show you what that looks like. The three modular encounter sets all have big minions. And the first one's gonna be the Doomsday Chair. Secondarily, we're gonna have Masters of Evil and finally the Anachronauts. If you look on the table currently, there are 10 large minions. And, you know, kind of by themselves, it's not that big of a deal. But once you start getting multiple of these on the table, it becomes a serious problem and a serious threat to the Marvel Champions. What's great about this is all of them have um, a lot of hit points. So, it, you know, they don't just go down in one hit. So it makes the game more interesting. And also they have some pretty cool and weird special abilities. So you really feel like you're having a duel between you know, superheroes versus a lot of these um, villains and slash the minions with it. So it's almost like this giant sort of brawl in the street where everybody has special powers and special abilities. It's definitely very thematic. Um, so as you can see, a lot of these minions and their kind of old favorites, you may have played with them over numerous um, times in Marvel Champions, but you've probably never all had them together at the same time. So this is a lot of fun, but it's also super dangerous as well. Something else that is quite a challenge when you're playing this deck is that there are three copies of biomechanical upgrades in the deck. This will actually make a minion regenerate when it's defeated. So what's cool about this deck and also very challenging, you have a lot of minions with a lot of hit points. So with three copies of biomechanical upgrades coming out, a lot of those minions, after you defeat them, they're gonna come back after you. In addition to that, there's a surge on this card as well that keeps you drawing additional uh, encounter cards as well. Another aspect of this deck that makes it extremely challenging is that a lot of times you're cycling through the encounter deck very rapidly and that's going to lead to extra acceleration counters being on the main scenario. So you're going to have a really hard time, especially the longer this progresses, with threat mitigation. So as you can see, there's going to be two copies of each of these cards and each one of these really cycles through the deck. So the first one's gonna cycle through the deck and look for a Masters of Mayhem minion to put into play. Um, the next one's gonna look for weapon attachments. And then the last one is going to look for a temporal minion. So all of these together, you're gonna be constantly cycling through the encounter deck very rapidly. And as I said before, it's super dangerous. So you really have to focus on threat mitigation and it can be a real issue, sort of mid to late game it'll really sneak up on you. And so this scenario actually gets more and more challenging the longer you play it because of that threat mitigation. So it changes from just fighting the minions to now you have to make decisions. Do you let a minion hit you or do you work on whittling down the threat on the scheme? So it can be quite a challenge. Another thing to note about this deck that can be extremely challenging are the boost icons themselves. There are six cards in the deck with a three boost actually on them. That can be pretty devastating, uh, especially if you're having a round where you're in your alter ego mode and the villain is going to scheme against you. It's pretty devastating when the villain schemes and it's getting either four or five threats against you, depending on what stage of the battle you're on and which version of crossbones that you're fighting. Especially if you're playing a multiplayer game. In one case, I saw two people in alter ego mode, two players, and back to back, Crossbones drew plus three boost icons. So a total of eight threat just for two players coming out back to back. That can be devastating to the flow of the game. It can be one of those things that causes you to lose the game very quickly. So be very mindful of that. In addition to the triple boost icons, there are tons of plus two boost icons in the deck as well. So what makes this challenging is to prepare to get hit very hard sometimes and to take a massive amount of threat when you're in alter ego mode. 
to sum it up, if you're looking for a fun, challenging deck, this is a great scenario to play. I find it becoming more and more difficult the number of players that you add. And the reason behind it is that since you have 10 really big minions, and especially if you're playing a four-player game, literally every single turn you're going to be drawing one of those big minions and it's going to be attacking and attaching and engaging to one of the uh, four heroes that are playing the game this can be pretty daunting so prepare especially in a four player game that you're going to have to deal with a big minion every turn so a lot of resources are going to have to be shifted toward taking out that minion or absorbing that damage somehow and that can be a pretty daunting task i feel that in solo mode it's it's pretty decent i don't think it's too exceedingly hard or difficult to win the scenario but i definitely think the uh level of threat and the level of insanity increases dramatically with the number of players that you add I want to thank you today for joining me for this quick video on scenario building, and as always, have fun gaming.